everybody, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of Fording Faith with your gal, In today's Alicia episode, Ann. we are going over the 12-step devotional reading plan found in the Life of Heaven Bible reading is found in Luke chapter 15, verses 11 if through 24. If you want to, feel free now to pause the video, but come on back so you can read along with me. Alright, so we're here in Luke chapter 15, verse 11, and I'm going to read now. To illustrate the point further, Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, I want my share of your estate now before you die. So his father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. A few days later, this younger son packed all of his belongings and moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all of his money in wild living. About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land, and he began to starve. He persuaded a local farmer to hire him, and the man sent him into the fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him, but no one gave him anything. When he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, At home, even the hired servants have food enough to spare, and here I am dying of hunger? I will go home to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. Please take me on as a hired servant. So he returned home to his father, and while he was still a long way off, filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you. I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. And kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast. For this son of mine was dead and now has returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. So you see, in the neutral progression of addiction, life degenerates in one way or another. Many of us wake up one day to realize that we are living like an animal, like this poor young man woke up and discovered. How true that is depends on the nature of our addiction. Some of us may be living like an animal in the terms of our physical surroundings, like this man, or others of us may be a slave to our animal passions, powerful emotions that dehumanize us and others. So you see the young man, he took an early inheritance. He traveled a long way from home with the money he he spent it all. Um, the women was just a memory and the high long gone. He resorted to slopping pigs to earn a meager living. And when he became so hungry that he eyed the pig slop with envy, oh, he realized he had a problem. Don't we all when that happens? So when he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, at home, even the hired servants have food enough to spare. And here I'm dying of hunger. How crazy am I? I will go home to my father. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. So filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son. And he embraced him and he kissed okay. him. The fact that we are able to recognize our lives as degenerate or insane proves that there is hope for a better way of life. We are reminded of times when life was good and we look to have that goodness restored. When we turn to God, who is powerful enough to help us build something better, we will discover that His power can restore us to sanity.